Hello, and welcome to my new e-bike series. In this series, I will cover how I constructed this e-bike. The first two videos will be on how I actually built the e-bike, installing the kit and whatnot. The third video will be my process of taking recycled cells from laptop batteries and creating a battery pack for the e-bike. And the fourth video will be a range and speed test. First of all, I need a box to store the batteries and to mount the electronics on. I chose this ammo canister because it is durable and has a gasket on the lid to keep the weather out. Next up is a rack to mount the box onto. I chose this rack due to its reasonable price and sturdiness. It supports up to 70 kilograms, so that's plenty for my application. To mount the box to the top of the rack, I needed to mark holes for U-bolts. The great thing about using U-bolts is there is no mounting hardware exposed to the outside of the box. In other words, nobody can come along with a socket wrench and remove the box from the rack unless they have access to the inside of the box. Okay, so this controller here is for the electric bike, right? But I have my doubts as to quality of the unit. I'm kind of curious to see what's inside. So I opened up the controller for two reasons. Firstly, to check the thermal paste between the casing and the MOSFETs to make sure that the electronics wouldn't overheat. And secondly, to check the voltage of the capacitors so I know what kind of battery pack I would be able to make. Now the capacitors read out at about 63 volts and the battery pack I'm gonna make will have a maximum voltage of 58. Um, that's pretty close, but it should be just fine. We have our box here. The controller is going on the outside of the box for cooling and uh, space reasons. Now there comes an issue of keeping the water out of the controller. These sides are sealed up completely, however the cabling holes aren't entirely sealed. So what I have decided is to get a plastic uh, plastic. Uh, plastic junction box, install it on the outside of the box, have the battery cables go through this, this hole here, have the rest of the cables go through these bottom holes, so this hole and these bottom holes, and what that means is when the rain falls from this direction, effectively falling onto here, none will get in through the holes on the bottom because gravity. Now in any case, I need to seal this part up. I need, I want this to be inside the junction box to protect it from the weather. So I have to cut a hole in the side of the junction box to fit, the, to fit in the controller.
later. Install our fitting here, which will keep the water from entering the battery box. Kind of important, mildly important. Doesn't have to be super tight. Just tight. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give it a like and share it if at all possible. Part 2 is going to be out next week on Wednesday, so keep your eyes out. And if you want notifications for when I upload, please follow me on Twitter. I post all my new videos there. Twitter notifications are a lot more reliable than YouTube.